How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Ashby Tapes and welcome to day five of quarantine. I mean day five of trying to do some, trying not to be bored. If you're new here, my name is Brent Fiore and I run this channel. On this channel we talk about men's fashion, fragrance, and wellness. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. Totally up to you. But we have fun on this channel. Like every fragrance video, we start off with our sneaker of the day and vice versa on fashion videos. We start off with our fragrance of the day. Since we're doing a fragrance video, we are looking at my sneaker of the day and that is my Ugg slippers because it's quarantine times. I really haven't gone out much. Um, I am kind of getting a little crazy in my house. So I've just been rocking my slippers and I'm feeling fancy. You know what I'm saying? But with that out of the way, let's get into Figo de Amalfi by Aqua de Parma. Bang, bang, there is the bottle. You'll get a better B-roll when I read off some of the notes. I've always wanted to try this fragrance. Um, I've always heard good things about Aqua de Parma. I've owned Club Colonia, I think it was. It was in the green bottle, and I wasn't a big fan of that one. It just, it wasn't me. It was a little minty, a little old school for me. I'm kind of young, more alive than that fragrance made me feel, you know what I'm saying? But this one I've always wanted to try, because Fico means fig in Italian, I'm like pretty, pretty sure, um, and the Amalfi Coast sounds amazing. This whole line sounds amazing, but Fig is one of my favorite notes. My favorite Fig fragrance right now is uh, Fig A by Molinard. Molinard's Fig A, which is a, also a niche fragrance that is also relatively inexpensive. Same with this one. You can find this bottle right here, 75 milliliters or 1.5 ounces for about 90 bucks on Nordstrom's website right now, which isn't bad at all. That you can go on FragranceNet and get it for about $50 on that gray market website. You gotta be careful when you're picking it out there though. Um, it is awesome. That you can get the six ounce or the five ounce bottle for like 70-ish bucks on FragranceNet. And I say just pick that one up. This one is amazing. So when looking for a spring and summer fragrance that's fresh, playful, and lively, it's hard to go in between. Because if you go designer, you usually get this fleeting like 13 year old vibe to it where Obviously, a 13-year-old would wear it, like um, Versace Mano Fraiche, that kind of vibe. Great fragrances, just not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something a little bit more classy, but still playful, and this one did the trick. Let me read you guys some of the notes. Some of the notes in Aqua de Parma's Fico de Amalfi. In the top, you have grapefruit, bergamot, a gorgeous lemon note, and citron. In the mid, you have pink pepper, jasmine, and an awesome fig note. And in the base, you have cedarwood, fig tree, and benzoin. Now, what do I get from this fragrance? Now, the main players in here is definitely that fig tree, the fig, the lemon, and the cedar. On my skin, this fig tree note gives this a dirty fig vibe, but it's still bright and refreshing in the top. Now, the beautiful thing about the citrus notes in this fragrance, they smell so natural and so delicious. They, they're kind of fleeting after a little bit, but that initial blast, oh, I'm gonna give myself a little respray. It's, so amazing. Now, the cool thing about this, fig is hard to master. It's it's either too dirty or too fruity. Now, they did this right because they have both ends of it and they meet in the middle. On my skin, the fig tree turns into this dirty, earthy, more masculine side. Although a very unisex fragrance and I feel like anyone could wear this. Gentlemen, if you get this, this is something your girl will be stealing from you. But on me, it tends to go a little more towards that earthy fig vibe versus on, I can see on some women, it might go a little more fruity, a little more playful. But the star of this is the fig. Again, those very beautiful citrus notes are amazing in there. And you got a nice little wood layer and dirty earthy layer to kind of lay this down on the ground. Performance wise, I get about five to six hours out of this. Not the best in the world, but for something like this at an eau de toilette concentration, you're not going to really complain. When you buy a super fresh and lively fragrance like this, do not expect it to be beast mode performance. And lastly, and why I'm so excited to wear this, is this is going to be a super cool occasional fragrance. This is for when I'm chilling by the pool, chilling with the homies during the summer. If it's a super hot day here in Minnesota and I have to go to work, I'm gonna throw on my linen shirt like I'm wearing, I'm gonna pop this on and I'm gonna feel like a baller. This fragrance is awesome and it is worth every penny. The quality is there. It is just amazing. Now to describe this fragrance in three words for you guys, the first one is going to be beautiful. The refreshing qualities, but this kind of floral undertone and this dirty earthy fig makes this so 
beautiful. The second word I'm going to describe this fragrance as is Italian luxury. I find this to be a very luxurious fragrance for what you're getting. You're getting the super bright aromatic fragrance and it's hard to make that smell super luxurious, but they did this in the most Italian way possible and made it luxurious. And the third word I'm going to describe this in is a perfect summer scent. I mean, it sums it up. I think this is could be easily your go-to perfect summer scent just for chilling out. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. My name is Brent Fiore and I run this channel. Let me know what you're wearing in quarantine down below. I would love to hear from you guys. And yeah, if you want to support me more, feel free to donate to my Patreon. The link to that is down below. All that money goes back into the channel. I love you guys. Stay happy, stay healthy, and God bless.